Morning, it's uh, Peter here, just out on the Himalayan, um, just Friday morning, just having a little uh, look at a couple of trails, not far from where I live, so just up here now, I think I should have turned right just there, probably not, no, 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 no. just a little bit further along, so we'll see what they're like, um, not sure what they're, they're just along here somewhere on them right hand side Beautiful morning again. Some cracking weather, not so good for my garden, mind you. Lack of rain, but uh, we're getting through the water butts. I said it's a trail, it's more like a little road, this is. So. It's part of the Tet, so we're on part of the Tet up towards Lost Withiel Way. I just wanted to have a come and have a recce, really, just see what they're like. Then perhaps do. But this one, uh, it's more like a little road, really. Here we go, a bit off-road in here. Oh, this is more like it. <clears throat> it's not too bad. At least it's dried out a lot. Which is the main thing. I'd been over to see the grandkids over the weekend, last weekend. Got bloody sniffle again, I can't believe it. Oh. That's the only trouble with the... Well, bless them, love them to bits, obviously. With the grandkids, is you do tend to pick up their bugs as well, which they pick up from school. Oh, it's a nice trail, this one. One of the better ones, I think. At my age, you see, I do, I, these are the ones I like. <laughs> they don't shake me body to bits. We've got some down here, that, uh, especially down in Cornwall, where they've really been butchered by the four-wheel drive and etc. And they're really bad, they're really rutted and make them very difficult Go. that way I think there's trail up there no oh, I think we go down this way That's the trouble when you stop, you've got to get going again. I was chatting to a farmer and he said, believe it or not, you get a lot of people, in, well, quite a few people in cars, just normal running the mill cars, come down to some of these lanes and get stuck, follow the sat nav to a various holiday routes or whatever. Starts off as a little road and then ends up in a track and it's quite rutted. Just like here, there's a great big hole here. Now I'm assuming we go down this way. Ah, oh, see, I was taking the easy route. Well, no, I don't know, I'm saying that probably disappear down. Oh bugger. 
as you can see these Also, I have to be a bit careful because I am on my own. And one, I don't mind doing a lot of these trails. I'll tell me, Mrs. Roughly, where I'm going, but she obviously doesn't know exactly where I am. And if you have a breakdown, obviously, you know, it's a bit of a problem. We're definitely not on the right way here, but we're coming to it's a forest track, so we'll just have a look up here, then we'll perhaps turn around and go back. Yeah, a few years ago, well, quite a few years ago, when I was a young, younger man, I'd have loved all these tracks, and the gnarlier the better. I've wrecked a few bikes over the years, I know that, going back when I was a youngster. Might pick up a bit of wind noise now, but uh, it's quite windy, actually. It's lovely weather, but it's a, it's a little bit windy. I've got my own put my new tire on yet, I'll have to I must do it actually. Got a TKC 80 or 80s on there, I'm just replacing them. The front one's pretty good, so I'm not gonna bother replacing that. Ooh, uh, uh, uh. And this should bring us out in a little village somewhere, so. But I'm always wary, you know, you never know what you're going to meet, the people are walking their dogs, horse riders, so, you know, you've got to be a bit considerate to other users. I mean, we get bad enough press as motorcyclists a lot of the time anyway, so, no need to add to it. Although, I don't know where this turned, you know, this should take us around and we come out in a little village, I think, so. This is a nice trail though, I like this.
Anyhow, it's good fun, that. A bit gnarly in places. Uh. Oh. Trying to stay out of the ruts as much as possible. This old Himalayan mate, I tell you what, never ceases to amaze me. It's not an out-and-out off-road bike, but it don't do a bad job. I mean, it's good it's low-down gearing, to be honest. Oh, that helps it, it's a thumper. It's not. A, you ain't going to break no speed records, but it'll just thump along. There, give it some, yes. Ooh, baby! This is what I like. The stuff is not, it's not too much of a challenge, but it's good fun. And to be honest, Nathan the Postman, I mean, he's, he's inspired me, really. I mean, well, he's a lot younger than me, obviously, and he's a lot more experienced, but... He takes, you know, CT-110s and stuff like that on these little trials. And you don't need nothing fancy to do it. And for me, it's a Himalayan. I've got my racks on it so I can kit it all up for, you know, travel as well if I want to. I can just use it to go to the shops. Got a couple of horses down here, so I'm going to switch off now. Yeah, just me. Just... No, no, just me. Thank you. Yeah, it doesn't hurt to be courteous as well to people, you know. Try and build up our uh, what people think of us. I don't want to upset people really. And I like to enjoy these sort of lanes as long as possible, really. I'm going to find somewhere now for a cup of coffee and then I'm just going to head home and that'll be it It's only a short video, it's uh, quite a cool place that is, there's plenty of off-road tracks to do be good on a mountain bike as well, Look, you know, around there I mean some of them are quite challenging, I must admit and some of them are a bit too uh, rutted and gnarly for the and steep and that's sort of probably a bit testing for the Himalayan to be honest the ground clearance uh, and I'm not as agile as it was so you know it causes can cause me a few issues I'm sort of heading toward, back towards where I live now in a roundabout way following the country route so up here somewhere we'll chuck a right and uh, head down to a few more lanes a couple of weeks time well beginning of the middle of June towards the middle of June beginning of June uh, going to plan a camping trip not sure yet where I'm going to be honest so 
probably uh, head up to Wales or somewhere like that, I don't know. I might go the other way, go Dorset, but we'll see. Big old tree down there. Yeah, this bike... Uh, Oh, excuse me. I think that was a fly. <coughs> yeah, I don't mean this. I think this bike uh, continues to impress me. Really, it does have its issues and niggles from time to time. It's a bit, a bit industrial. It's not very really smooth sometimes. I've had that cutting out problem a cut from time to time. Today it's been perfect. Other times it plays up when I start it up and stuff like that. Um, but on the whole, I mean I've done uh, about three and a half thousand miles on it now, so getting on a bit, so I think I've got a, had a good enough handle on the bike. See there, I was in the wrong gear, and it does it, it it'll take it, so. Oh, what a lovely day, lovely beautiful day. Nice cottage as well in front there. Right, where, we, where are we now? Let's have a look. Botanic, uh, private Braddock Church. Up that way. Braddock Church. Are we going to have a look there? We're going to have a look there. Why not? I don't know if we can get through. That's all right. <coughs> I was looking up on the history of the area a while back and there was a couple of uh, big battles around it. I don't think they specifically know where they were. Uh, the Royalists against the uh, Parliamentarian troops. Uh, I think the Parliamentarians sort of made their way here through. To, they were making their way to Foy. Lovely place in there. <coughs> Another trail up there. Let's see where that goes. Let's have a look on the Horn survey map. Because you never know. No, I don't really... Give me options where to go, really. So I think that's just a bit of a dirt track that goes into a dead end. So that's Braddock Church, there. Which on the right. building work going on there. Certainly pretty round here. Certainly pretty. It's not really a gateway with a view but it's certainly a view. farm down there. <coughs> yeah, working tonight, so back on Tesco's tonight. Still not sure whether I should retire or not, I keep thinking about it. I only do part-time, so yeah, I lose a little bit of money, obviously, and money's always handy, extra money's always had handy to have, especially uh, owning these motorbikes and stuff. As my wife keeps telling me, inform me, she won't. She says you won't be able to play with your toys if you stop working. I also remind her she won't be able to have so many plants in her garden if if, if I stop working. So you know, there you go. Horses for courses. Right, let's go this way. This is a thing around here. There's often little roads and stuff go off, and you don't know where you're going to go. I well, know the general direction I'm going. I mean, some of them lead to nothing. Some of them nice lead to nice little roads, so so we can do is see what you think, what you find. The uh, battery's nearly gone on the GoPro, so I'm going to lose it. What I'm going to do, I'm going to say goodbye now. Um, I hope you enjoy the videos. Um, I'm trying to improve them and get the sound quality better and 
with a bit of help from a couple of other guys uh, helping me get the sound sorted out um, doesn't always work out right but I'm, I'm, I'm not that techie minded to be honest I'm not it's not something I'm that good at so I'm learning um, but yeah if you like the videos please subscribe um, it's just a bit of fun for me and like I say it's always good we always have a good crack the other people the other people I tend to follow on YouTube uh, some of them become friends now so it's, it's quite cool really you know it's uh, quite a good little community especially if you're into motorbikes and stuff like that I like I so I do other videos as well of different things I'm doing it wouldn't be old man and his adventures really would it if I didn't um, hopefully gonna get down and do, do a bit of filming underwater a bit of snorkeling and stuff like that and uh, over the coming couple of months and you know a bit of camping while camping and walking so there'll be something there for everybody I think or near enough but anyway thanks for watching um, have a safe weekend or have a good weekend get out there do something you know enjoy I'm back on the main road anyway now so I'm just gonna stop here turn my old video off and uh, head back home for work and then get ready have a little bit of relax so take care speak to